What's up guys? Welcome back to Flex and Freedom. You're with John today and today I'm on my way up to Belfast BMW to pick up a 2022 GS1250 for a quick test ride. So really looking forward to this. Cannot wait. I really love this bike. So stick around, stay tuned. Next time you see me, we'll be on the bike. Welcome back guys. Um, first impressions. Uh, what a bike. In terms of riding position, the riding position is really, really comfortable. Um, I'm very upright, but I'm relaxed at the same time. Uh, in terms of, you know, reaching the handlebars, uh, my arms are not overstretched. I'm not underreaching either. Um, it's just perfect for me. Uh, I've said in a couple of videos before, I'm, I'm just about six foot. So it, it's perfect for me, it works. Uh, my shoulders are nice and comfortable and nice and relaxed, my back is straight um, and there's not an awful lot of pressure down through uh, the bottom of my lower back as well so all very very good. Uh, my, my hips are directly sort of uh, above my ankles um, which, is, which is unusual for me because I'm used to riding the Harley and the Harley has my 2021 uh, soft tail standard has slightly forward mid controls so this is a bit of an adjustment for me, um, but I can manage, um, it's comfortable, it's just taking a wee bit getting used to, um, as I say I'm not used to this at all, um, but I'll show you more about that whenever we get off the bike. Um, a bee just flew into my visor and splattered all over my visor so that's good. Um, yeah, so really really tough for that, I'm loving having a visor. Um, we did a tour of Scotland last year, the north coast of Scotland, and did you know no visor on the Harley. Open to the elements. Having this visor already, I can notice so much difference. It's, it's a bit of a windy day. I am up in sort of a hilly area here in the north of Ireland, so it is windy, and I can feel it. But this is really protecting me, so that is good. Um, so loving it so far. Um, in terms of everything else to do with comfort, the grips are the grips are good. The grips. Uh, I'm not sure, the grips don't feel um, as good as what my Arlen S ones do on the Harley, but I guess, uh, again, that's just something to get used to. Hand guards are a big one as well. Um, so, so good here, particularly today where it's a bit breezy. So that is really, really good. In terms of uh, performance initially, um, this is a quick bike. Um, I didn't expect it to be as quick as what it is, but this is a quick bike, I guess, 1250cc. 136 horsepower. John, how could you not expect it to be quick um, whenever it's a turn bike and 140 brake almost, but yeah, it is a quick bike. I have no problems um, overtaking people uh, in these kind of speeds in fourth and fifth gear. No problem at all. So the power is there. It's, there's all the power, I think, if you're using this for touring, there's all the power there that you could ever need for touring, 100%. Yeah, just touching on handling then. So, um, handling. The bike feels really, really light. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting. I think the, the frame of the bike is deceiving almost in that whenever I picked up the bike in Belfast just now, I seen this bike and thought, whoa, this is so much bigger than my Harley and you know the frame and all the accessories and it makes it such a wider profile and obviously vertically it's much bigger as well. And it was I thought, you know, this is gonna be a bit heavy and might not handle that well, but the bike's so light. Um, so so light. Uh, whenever we get off the bike, I'll talk through some specs uh, in a moment. But it, it is definitely very very light in the corners, and I'm really really enjoying it. And the handling is is so so good. Oh, the power! The power just switches on. The throttle is like the throttle is like a button. <laughs> the throttle is just like a button. It just comes on. It's always there. Um, insane. Uh, so fun. So we'll jump off the bike and we'll get a couple of snaps to the old Instagram. Keep Aaron happy. You know.
So guys, I've just parked up here, I've just jumped off the lovely 2022 BMW GS 1250TE in triple black. Um, what a machine. Really, really chuffed with that. That that was awesome. Um, so comfortable, so nimble, so powerful. Um, so light in the corners, handles really, really well. It's got hand guards, visor, wind protection. Uh, legs aren't uh, too tucked back or tucked in. Very, very comfortable riding position. Lovely bit of chrome header there, chrome exhaust, and the stock, uh, the stock end can there, which. I mean, if I was getting one of these, I would definitely be doing something about. But other than that, um, <laughs> a lot of the, a lot of the videos on YouTube say that this is the perfect bike, or this is as close to the perfect bike, and it's a bit of an all-rounder, and it does everything really well. And I can see from you know just been on the bike for about 20 minutes, half an hour, how people can come to that conclusion because it does all of those things really well. It does handle well. It's got a lot of power. It does look good. It's very comfortable. Um, I think the fuel economy in this bike is pretty decent as well, in around 45 miles per gallon. It's got a 20 litre tank, <laughs> uh, or something like that, somebody will correct me I'm sure in the comments, but something in around 20 litres I think from memory, which I mean for touring and stuff is really really good. I mean I have 14 litres in my Harley and I thought that was good. Um, so yeah, it does tick a lot of boxes for a bit of jack of all trades for a motorcycle. Um, really, really impressed with it already. So yeah, there's not much bad to say about this bike, if I'm honest, there's not much bad to say at all, it's really really good, handlebars are nice and pulled back, so quite comfortable, um, the screen is really really clear when we're, when we're riding, we'll, s we'll see some of that in a moment, um, the mirrors are at a nice height, quite clear, um, USB port is where I see for charging your phone, so that's good. I'd like one of those for my bike as well, to be honest. Over here, we've got cruise control, push for on, adjust and set, push for off. Um, this took some getting used to. Um, turn signals indicators on one side again. The Harleys have left and right on the respective handlebars, so that, that did take some time getting used to. Keyless ignition, switch on once for on, switch for once for off, starter, heated grips, yeah, very very good, awesome machine. Yeah, uh, I don't really want to bore you guys too much more. I'm going to jump back on the bike and tell you a bit more about how how it handles and get this bike into some twisties as well. So let's do that. Okay, guys, that's a bit enough talking. I think um, I've said all I can say really. And a first impression, a quick review. Uh, going to jump back on the bike, give this thing back to BMW. Sadly, although I don't want to. Uh, so catch you back on the bike. Hi folks, so we're back on the bike and on our way back to BMW Belfast, um, sadly to leave the bike back. So my initial impression is this bike, uh, yeah as I say, really really good, can't seem to fault it. Um, all the other videos that are on YouTube and all the other reviews, I mean they seem like, yeah, everyone seems to rave about this bike and now I can see why. Um, just handles so well, it's got power, style practicality, comfort, um, so yeah, I can see why it's won like bike of the year every year in the UK and Europe since 2004 for bikes over 500cc or something like that, uh, I think I read that somewhere, so I can see why that's the case. Um, would I consider buying this bike? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> can I afford to buy this bike? No. But would I consider it? Yes. Um, if I was going to do a long trip, I mean, I've been talking about camping trips and things, so that we can give you guys on the channel some some good content as well, and, and give you a glimpse into Ireland. This would be perfect. I mean, this would be the perfect bike for that. You know, we could lay it up with panniers and everything. Um, you know, it would be absolutely perfect. Um, so, yeah, by all means, it seems to be one of the best bikes out there for in, in its class. Um, it is quite steep, I'll pop the price up on the screen because I can't remember and I don't want to quote something wrong but I mean it's a 2022 bike so what do you expect if I was going to go for something like this I don't see why I wouldn't go for possibly like the 2012 GS 1200 onwards um, I don't see that there's enough changes in those bikes to warrant 
going bankrupt really. Um, there's loads of other decent bikes out there, but this has just been an absolute joy to ride. So chuffed with it. Don't really want to give it back. Don't really want to leave it back. And when I was in Belfast today taking this out for a test ride, there were three other guys uh, uh, taking test rides on GS 1250s. There's a couple of it GSA uh, bikes as well. So. Um, very popular at the moment. I really wish that I had something like this for the trip in Scotland that we did. I really do think it would have made that trip a lot more enjoyable and I haven't even got a chance to explore like any of the features of the nav and the, and the TFT screen and things I haven't even got, I haven't got time to do that because it's so in depth and in fact the sales guy from BMW when he was when he was showing me the bike was was showing me the basics but he's like look I, I, there's no time to show you everything that the screen can do because um, there's just so much. Um, he was a bit under pressure today, so he didn't get a chance to show me any of that. But yeah, um, that'll be all on YouTube for those guys that are really considering buying this. Obviously, me being a bit of a Harley fan, um, what I would like to do is try out the Harley Davidson Pan America as well uh, and compare it to this. That, I think, would be an interesting comparison. I'm sure it's already been done, in fact. I'm nearly positive it's already been done. But for me, I'd like to try it out and see. Um, something tells me the Pan America might be slightly smaller. Uh, but, um, yeah, I would like to do that next. So stay, stay tuned for that. That video could be inbound. But it's a great day here, guys, um, in Ireland. Um, and what a bike to be on as well. Um, very lucky to be able to test ride this 2022 GS and I've been delighted with it and you can see why it's so popular obviously I would love to have the bike for longer uh, and try out all of its features and take it on some, try even off-road as well I mean the bike was built to be taken off-road more so the adventure uh, styling this is just the TE the T model but uh, yeah, it'd be nice to, to try out the adventure model and those tire, those off-road tires, um, in a bit more um, robust environments. But maybe someday, maybe someday. I'm running late as well. It's 2:40, and I need to be back by 2:45. So um, this is not the best of starts in a relationship with Belfast BMW. So guys, that was the GS1250 TE Triple Black. Uh, what a bike, what a machine. Uh, definitely a bike that I would love to add to the fleet in the future. Sadly, it's just beyond my budget at the minute. But um, yeah, uh, definitely, definitely a great machine. So uh, look, thanks for watching the video. If you've made it this far, appreciate it. Uh, do remember to drop us a like and subscribe. It's free, it takes two seconds. It really, really helps us out and hopefully catch you in the next video. See you later.